Hello to my Cancers. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your general reading. Happy Sunday to each and every one of you all. Cancers, we are officially in the new moon. That's right. We're in a new moon phase. Moon is in uh, Aquarius and then it's going to move into Pisces. Pisces, like you, is a water sign, right? So check your birth chart to see if you have Aquarius and um, Pisces in your birth chart. You know, you want to get better acquainted with all parts of your birth, uh, your birth chart, not just your sun sign. Okay, Cancers, let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let's see what's in your cards. I've already prayed over your cards, already cleared the space, and let's see what's going on here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, Cancers. Let's do it. Let us see. Let us see. Let us see. All right, Cancers. Lover's card. This is very nice. Here we also have the Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, Two of Cups, and the Emperor card. Yeah, so Lover's card is about partnership. Some kind of partnership in business and or in love is trying to come in. Here we also have the Seven of Pentacles, and this is some a seed that somebody planted that's now growing. So whatever you put out into the universe, whatever you spoke into the universe is coming back to you. So if you've been saying, I want to grow my money, I want to go into business with people, it's starting to come back around. People hold you in very high regard. So make sure you're in is the fact that you're down to earth. You're quite relatable. Just make sure you add structure to your ideas. Here we have the emperor card, right? Get serious about adding some structure to your ideas and to stay on your throne. Your, your word is your bond, right? So if you're saying you're going to do something and people are relying on you to do what you say you're going to do, you don't want to be a nightmare in people's lives because you already know what it looks like on the dark side of the emperor, you know, car. You already know what that looks like and you're not interested in being on the dark side of anything. You're not trying to be a nightmare to other people's lives, especially when you have all these great ideas and people are depending on you know, depending on what you said you were going to do, but you're also to some degree holding them accountable as well. Right. So that's what, um, I'm seeing you cause you already, you've gone through, when we talk about the number nine, you're ending on, you're, you're ending something, right? So nine is the, the, the number for death rebirth and you're ending on, you're landing on the bright side of the number nine. Your clairvoyance is, um, heightened your, um, your, your, um, your psychic abilities are now, um, you know, heightened. And so the, but the dark side is that you're leaving, you're leaving behind energies who are, who want, who need excessive control, you know, people who lack discipline, people who are inflexible. And so you're, you're leaving behind that type of energies, people who like to jump to conclusions about other people, people who like to engage in, in stuff. They don't believe in anybody, their head and heart are not at war. Once they get stuck on gossiping about you're just getting away from all of that messiness, right? So I definitely see soulmate energy coming across your path. The number two, two is about peace, right? And so peace being paramount. And somebody's saying, I'm leaving behind all the nightmares where I felt like, you know, my 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 peace was compromised. I'm getting away from all of that, where I felt like my, my peace was compromised. And, and I'm, I'm adding some structure. I'm adding some structure to my ideas. I got a lot of them and I want to see my money grow. I want to, you know, like I said, seeing that, you know, I'm down to earth, I'm quite relatable and I want to be around some energies like this. Here we have the 10 of cups. I want to sit around a table with some people who we are, you know, it's like fresh cup going from, I mean, fresh water going from one cup to the next with fresh ideas. They're adding to my joy. They're adding to sensuality, sexuality. They're adding to adaptability. I'm no longer interested in codependent relationships where I can't even share my ideas. And I feel like, okay, I got to, I, I got to, you know, what I got to kiss up to somebody who, you know, is in dark on the dark side of the number four. You're not interested in that. So yeah, some kind of partnership in business and or in love is coming across your path. So here we have six of wands. Here we have the high priestess. Here we have the five of swords, the two of wands um, and the seven of wands, right? So six of wands, I definitely see you, um, at a higher frequency. I see you being victorious at moving on from those types of energies and making room. Here's another thing too, cancer is that so sort, because this is the year of wealth, you want to make sure that you are adding, you're in spaces where you're becoming wealthier in your creativity. We're talking about water, wealthier in joy. 
You know, so when you walk into a room, you have so much joy that's coming from the inside and also the oozing joy. There's not somebody who's pretending to be happy. So it's just saying this is a person who, you know, weigh the pros and cons in every place that you put your feet here on earth. This is the, the fourth card in tarot and four is the earth number. Everywhere you put your feet on earth, you feel like, okay, I know what feels good to me and what doesn't feel good to me, right? I know when I'm in certain spaces, I feel inspired. I feel motivated. I feel like the conversation is geared towards everybody sharing high vibrating ideas and nobody's trying to over overpower or overshadow other energies. So source is saying you've come through a long and arduous journey of just self-discovery, right? Just by looking back and saying, here's the five of swords right here. Just by looking back and learning how to take your power back. Looking back, this number five right here, it's a pivotal point in your life. So, so source is saying if you keep looking back at all the nightmares and keep overthinking it and keep talking about it, it's like you're invoking that spirit, that, that nightmare spirit, Cancer. You know, like in the scary movies where somebody keeps saying the scary person's name over and over and over again. And then all of a sudden, you know, that that energy appear, it becomes a nightmare again. So source is saying the overthinking and keep talking about it is you're only bringing to life. You're breathing air into that type of energy. And so, again, you're just adding some structure to your ideas. This could be a person, place or thing. Right. So remember, apply it, you know, to whatever you know, but I definitely see somebody moving on and not looking back at something. I see you being able to defend your decision to not, I mean, I see your decision to move, to not go back to being burned out, stressed out, frustrated, confused, whatever. And possibly before somebody makes it for you. The thing about going back into a long and arduous situation is you don't know how long you're going to be in there this time. You know, like if you ever seen movies where people are like got lost in the wilderness situation, they finally found their way out like at the end of the movie, right? And they, if they were to go back through that same situation, they may feel like, okay, I remember my path and I'm going this way, right? I'm going this way and I'll be able to come right back out the same way until you get in that and you see this maze of everything that looks just alike. Like, oh my God, now I'm scared. I don't know. I heard this noise I heard. So you don't know how long it coming out of stepping into your own light and being victorious is stepping into your own light. You don't know how long you're going to have to go back to that and what's going to happen in that. Well, how long you're going to be in survival mode. So source is saying you're not going back to any nightmares. Here we have the ace of cups, the ace of pentacles, the hangman, the magician card, the nine of swords and the six of swords. What did I say? Nightmare. Two types of situations in particular, every time you look back, see these two swords right here on the ground, you feel powerless and you feel, um, you don't feel as smart as you know you are, right? You just feel powerless. Like, okay, you don't feel as intellectual as you know you are, because again, you could be under the iron fist of somebody who's very domineering, you know, it's my way the highway, that kind of energy, jump to conclusions, that kind of stuff. Or they could be still connected to those types of energies. Either way, it's affecting you. And it would, it would cause you to be a nightmare to them. It would cause them to be a nightmare to you. You're not interested. Here we have the Ace of Cups, right? If anything, I see you learning how to protect your water, right, as you're moving forward. Matter of fact, I feel like um, a lot of times people, you know, who are not operating really in faith are operating in, I got to physically see it before I need, like, I need more money before I can do this. So it says, speak it into existence. This is where you got to really increase your faith, speak it into existence. You're going through a rite of passage right now. And so as you're going through this rite of passage and you're going through a transition and source is saying to you, it can be this much off. Like you could be on one frequency and somebody else can be on another frequency and it can be this close where you feel like, well, maybe and source is like, it may be nothing. I need you to five and six is 11, right? 11 symbolizes light, L-I-G-H-T. I need you to keep on moving into your light. I need you to keep on moving into your light, stay in your purpose, and I'll make everything crystal clear to you. Keep speaking into existence. I see my money growing. I see where I'm going, right? I put a lot of work into this. This is about motive, right? So I put a lot of work into this. I know I have at least eight streams of income. That's like, you know, source putting you around. Like I said, this table right here, a lot of creative ideas. A lot of people were coming up with creative. All it takes is for one spark, one flame, somebody come in and says, Hey, look, I got all these great ideas, you know? And, and again, I see your money growing because 
I see that people see, they see you like they see you as a person who is like in a, like a leader, somebody who has all these great ideas and who can bring some things into life. You see this white rabbit right here. So it's just saying it's time for you to take a quantum leap into your own future. See it, sit down, meditate, see it like, okay, I see these people all sitting around the table. We're coming up with all these great ideas and we're going to bring this thing into fruition. When you look around you, somebody should see opportunities everywhere you go opportunity that's like your whole your the, your lens is changing uh cancer your lens is changing where at first you may have saw problems you may have seen nightmares wherever you go now when you get in the car you're like okay that's an idea that's an idea that's an idea that's an idea i can't even think i got all these ideas swirling around in my mind so it's like write them down here we have hangman the moon is moving the moon may be in pisces already pisces is ruled by this planet right here it's one of pisces ruling planet neptune it's the planet of imagination and transcendence but it's also the planet of a longing for bliss it's a planet of escape it's a planet of spiritualism um chaos and disintegration it's also the planet of uh romance um uh sacrifice of sources saying like obedience is better than sacrifice it's time for you to hang in there with yourself because some clear messages are coming through clear messages are coming through for you to tap into those messages now is the time to speak into existence of things source if i don't have a structure to my ideas please send me some people that that they're they're, they're going to help bring this to fruition like it's like if you ever work with anybody um cancers where you come across you like i got an idea and i can i can pan it off to this employee they're going to take that idea and run with it all I have to do is say, hey, you know, I was thinking about putting together a spreadsheet before you can even come back. They came back with the same, they got the same idea, they just on the same frequency. And so source is saying, all you need to do is stay in your light cancer and stuff is, and you start speaking things into existence and you got so much stuff swirling around in your mind. So it's just saying, you know, write them down, write all every idea down, pray over your ideas. You know, don't let it sit in your mind until it turns into a nightmare because when I look at your cards here, so every, every day, the, first of all, the moon stays in a zodiac sign. Now I'm teaching now. Well, I'm, I'm not just reading your card. I'm teaching you, helping you to stay focused, Cancer. Every day you have a choice to land on the bright side of the moon, right? The moon being, you know, we had a new moon in Aquarius. Aquarius is a humanitarian sign. So this is about you saying, okay, I'm, this is not about any Aquarius that you know. It's ruled by two planets. It's, an, it's a humanitarian sign. So this is where you're saying, um, I know I'm smart. I have all of these great ideas. I just need to get serious about adding some structure to it. And if I can't, if I feel like I need some help, right? Because you're not trying to do everything by yourself. I can go straight to source to ask for some help. I need some help with these ideas, right? And, and for some of you all, when it comes to your love life, I even need a supportive spouse. I need a supportive mate in my life because I'm trying to do, I'm trying to help do my part to play better, uh, better mankind. I don't need any nightmares in my life. So if you're single and you said, okay, I want to start dating and I want to meet my twin flame, it can't even be off by just this much for real. It has to be somebody who is, they're not going to burn you. They can't be connected to people who are burning them. They can't be in that space because again, you are trying to do something here. These are resources. You can't be connected to that kind of energy. That's going to throw you off because it would end up being a nightmare. You end up being a nightmare in their life. So here we have the world card. So I see you closing some stuff out here. We have the eight of cups, the ace of cups, the seven of wands, the lover's card again, and we have the death card. Yep. Lover's card came out twice. Like I said, partnership in business and or in love. Somebody is just leaving leaving energies behind. Like I said, that uh, it's just even off a little bit. Somebody is saying, "Look, I need to I need to release that because that's a, it's a that's a trap waiting to be set for real. It's a trap waiting to be set to go back to some situations where it's just off a little bit like this, right? So you, to put your energy towards energies. And, and look at it, your entire universe. This is here we have the world card. I see you closing it out. You've already gone from start to finish with something in your mind over and over and over again. You try to look at it from different angles and you're like, mm -mm. for me to go back and I got the message loud and clear, I, it, it, you would just be sabotaging yourself. You really would be sabotaging yourself. You got to the end of all, you went through, you went, went through, you tapped into your inner resources 
you looked at the pros and cons of stuff. Now I'm walking you through the major arcanas. You went through the, the pros and cons of some stuff. You said, nah, I got all the way to the end. And I still, mm, I, nah, I need to go ahead and close this out airtight. Yep. Ace of, um, the Ace of Cups and also the Eight of Cups. Your wishes are being fulfilled. Somebody's wishes are being fulfilled. Somebody, I mean, I'm telling you, your wishes are being fulfilled and somebody else's wishes are being fulfilled. I'm telling you, when I say it, I'm even if you're with your person in a love situation in business, it's going to feel like, where have you been all my life for real? Like what, it, what? <laughs> and the same thing in, um, and the same thing in, um, like I said, you, you, you're learning how to protect your emotions. They're learning how to protect them. Somebody that the source is aligning you with has gone through from top to bottom, root of the two to inside out sources, connecting you with somebody in business that they really about it. They not they not just talking to the talk. They actually walking the walk. Whether it's an employee, a colleague, a partner in business, a partner in love. That's how when you're talking about operating in your light, seven of wands, sources saying everything is coming together for you. Like everything is coming together for you perfectly. And so um I see you, I see you on your throne. I I, I see you on your throne. I, when I look at your cards, I see you being able to really, I see them being able to defend their decision to move on from some things and just being burned out. They're not interested in wasting their time. Like I said before, people hold you in very high regard. They look at you as like, okay, you're on your throne. You got a lot of great ideas. They want to know, do you have any distractions in your life? You want to know if they got any distractions in their life, you know, um, like somebody want to work with you. So get all, get all of that stuff out of the way, you know, the conversation. Okay. So what now, how, how are we going, how are we going to, you know, get to somebody is definitely inspired. Somebody is definitely inspired to, you know, move forward. So whoever you've been praying for, somebody been praying for a twin flame in business and twin flame in love. Somebody says you keeps you motivated and inspired. So get a plan together. If your money is growing and we talk about the um like a contractual agreement you're gonna have to make sure and you're gonna have to put to it that in in anything that you can even perceive and you all are a highly intuitive sign so you already know what could be a problem it's for real y'all already know it's not even a like i said when you look at all the majority of cars in your minor arcana are water cars you already know what energies can manipulate your emotions for good or evil or anything in between you don't need you need somebody that's going to be right there pouring fresh water and not being connected to distractions. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. Cause you're, you're, I see your money growing. You worked really hard to get to this money part. This, you know, and again, it's a resource. But here we have, there it is, the moon card. You're going to have to leave the past in the past. People who don't believe in themselves or people who are stuck to other people who don't believe in them. Uh, Here we have the seven of the seven of swords. Any this this um, moon right here exposes how you feel versus how other people feel. It'll f it expose if you feel like people are holding on to secrets and you really can't trust them. That's a distraction for real. It's a it's a major distraction. You see this moon throughout the card, the cards. This moon, these moons right here. This is feelings. You know, like the song feelings. Nothing more than feelings. So it's just saying to you, look. This really exposes how you feel. If you really believe that some people are holding on to secrets and they're not telling you everything and it's taking them too long, like what is going on? So it's just saying, go ahead and cut your losses. You see that sword right there because you're going to end up saying something that's going to cut them deep. And all of a sudden it's going to make you look like it's, it's going to, like I said, it's going to have the, it's going to have an adverse effect. So, you know, before you say something that you feel like, okay, I said something that offended them. And now all of a sudden I got to clean that up. That just cuts out too much time when really when you when you already know some energies don't believe in themselves and they don't and it, it's hard for people to see your vision when they don't believe in themselves. So I mean, you know, let that let that simmer. Like let that sit. Like let somebody think about that because it's hard for people to believe in themselves. I mean, it's hard for people to believe in your vision if they don't even believe in themselves and they, or if they're connected to people who don't believe in them. And it's going to, I mean, the, the way it's going to come back, if you don't, if you don't, um, detach from those types of energies, cancer is the thing that you've been saying that you were going to do because now you're delayed from some energies manipulation. You're going to sit with that and say, man, you know what? I said, I was going to do this, but I guess I, you know, I guess I got to wait. 
you know, and, and in a sense, you don't really believe in yourself. You don't believe like, I, I believe I gotta, I gotta slow down and wait for other people to start believing in themselves. Like, come on. Here we have the, um, nine of cups. I see emotionally, you're gonna feel like you hit the jackpot just because you went through your rite of passage. You sat down and thought about it. Like, yeah, if I stay connected to certain energies, this is gonna be a nightmare for me. So source, give me an exit strategy. Don't please don't let my mouth get me in trouble and say something that's going to really hurt somebody's feelings. I'm not trying to do that. So here you are on your throne of thinking. I have enough wisdom and knowledge. Source, just put some things in my brains. Help me. <laughs> I'm telling you because it is frustrating. <laughs> oh my God. Here we also had a two of, <laughs> the two of wands. Woo, chow. Mm. Here we have the um, Queen of Swords. It is really frustrating when you feel like you're in forward. You got all your, your that's why you got so much air here. Somebody's head and heart may be at war with each other, but I'm talking about you got all these ideas. You're all excited and you're like, man, I just need the energy, the right energies with me, both in my love and my personal, my personal, my professional life. If I could just, I, I, everything has to be centered around your purpose, right? So it's say you got a, a significant other or a spouse that supports you wholeheartedly, but at work, it's just out of alignment. So it's just like, mm, yeah, you're going to have to start speaking some things into existence, right? And remember, it's just you and Source. You're telling Source, Source, give me an exit strategy. They may actually end up just moving on from you. Okay, answered prayer. You don't look bad. So Source, help me. Help me with that. I feel like somebody's like, okay, you've been around and around and around the world with this thing in your mind, thinking about it, talking about it. I'm not sure this and source is saying, look, just add, you not add, add the right words, exit strategy. So that's what I see coming across somebody's path. I see a twin flame coming across your path, but you got to release the X. And I also see a perfect business situation coming across your path. So you got to release the over the, the overthinking. Somebody's giving way too much thought to stuff and not talking about it enough. You're talking to everybody else but source. Source, give me an exit strategy. I only want to make room for for energies that 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 you know want to increase their wisdom and knowledge. Where I feel a lot, I, I mean, they believe in themselves. I believe in myself. They come in with the confidence. Those are the energies I want to align myself with. Those are the energies I want to align myself with. So I don't want, I don't want to be held back anymore. That's what I'm saying for you all. So a little bit more about your love interest. You know, for those of you all who want to be in a love interest, a love situation, a little bit, let me get a little bit more about this love interest coming in. And then also some of the qualities of the love interest in the, in the business situation are going to be the same. Some of the characteristics are going to be the same. You have to decide what they look like on the outside and where you want to meet the energy. You have to decide that cancer. Like, do you want them to be this? Because this is a general reading. So you have to be intentional and deliberate about what you want. Do you want them to be this tall, this short, this complexion, hair type, body build, whatever? That's all on you, right? Because um, this, again, it's a general reading. But some of the characteristics about your person, both in business and or in love, one thing for certain is that they are very, very intelligent, right? So however, we're not talking about just degrees. We're talking about somebody who has traveled, somebody who is, you know, somebody who takes the time out to get their rest. You know, energies who too, like you, have left some nightmares behind. People who know not to, <clears throat> excuse me, people who not who know not to waste their time cutting into their time in a day. You know, talking negatively about people. They are on. If this, if it doesn't involve helping people to adjust their crown, they're down to earth. They're relatable. You know, they carefully vet their thoughts. You know, they're all like I said, on their throne. They're on their throne. Um, it, it's going to be like a perfect pairing of you all. So here we are that they, they already coming in saying, Hey, if cancer talking the right thing, let's get married in business. That's what they talking about. They talking about getting married in business and in love. That's what they talking about. And so this is an energy that's not playing games. They're not playing. They're not wasting. They letting that any more grass grow up under their feet. They have a lot of knowledge and wisdom. They're incredibly smart. They have a lot of ideas, and um, and they they want to they want to align with you. And sources actually work. Sources actually they like you have been. People have set traps for them, um, and I feel like I feel like you, Cancer, because you're the mother of the zodiac, and I'm talking to men and women, Cancers. I really feel like Cancer, you are the one that initiated something. I feel like I feel like they may have done. Uh, <laughs> 
it's a, it's a, it's on both sides though. I feel like they may have been just their normal kind hearted self, you know, being able to pick up on the air of just like you needed some fresh air. Maybe they engaged you in conversation and it was just so, it's still so innocent. Like, and I feel like for you, it's something that they may have needed that your spirit picked up on. It was like a perfect pairing. It was like a negative to a positive and just kind of coming together to something whole within you and also within them, if that makes any sense to somebody. It was like a perfect pairing. It literally was a perfect pairing. And so you all may be at a stage, remember this time is relative. So you all may be at a stage right now or maybe just kind of talking right now, whether it's in business and or in love and just kind of sort of, you know, tossing around a couple of ideas right now, but they are incredibly smart and they are, they are connected. They know energies. So the energy, um, the energy you know, like I said, you're going to feel very lucky. You know, they see things from a higher frequency. They, um, they're going to feel like, you know, the responsibility, the weight of like having to think everything through themselves. Here they come, here you come with some ideas. They're going to feel like it's no, you know, having to carry everybody else's weight of thinking, you know, on their internal scales and carry everybody else's burnout and stress is going to be relieved. So source is going to definitely put some energies across your path. I mean, they are carrying people's judgment of them, harsh judgment of them. I think that's what it was for you all cancer. I think you didn't harshly judge them. That's what it was. I think that, you know, you, your energy came along at a time where they may have been harshly judged in the past. I feel like you're meeting somebody who is very professional um, someone who it has been burned themselves. They, they just, you pick up, you picked up on something in their spirit, your emotional intelligence picked up on something in their spirit about their intellect and wanting to help increase their intellectual power. Something about it. Maybe you may have paid for them to go to school. Maybe you mentored somebody, something you did that for for somebody like your spirit your your emotional intelligence was like food to their soul remember the moon connects us with our with our souls being fed something about your energy fed their intellect and they say oh shoot okay uh i want i want a little bit more of the water the cancer is drum pouring out right so it's your power it's your intellect it's your being down to earth nature it's your your willingness to not harshly judge people. Um, I, I feel like they highly respect you. So if it's something that uh, didn't align with where you were going, like trying to protect yourself or whatever, I feel like, you know, um, if they're a person who talks too much or whatever, and that could have hurt you in the past, I feel like you spoke up and said, yeah, you may, you may, yeah, I, I need you to protect me, right? I need you to protect my energy. So they now know exactly what works for you. Um, what work, I mean, I'm telling you, soulmate energy, right? Your third eye is open. Your third eye is open. I mean, like somebody is really on fire. And I'm talking about for a good cause too, Cancer. This is very, very nice. I, this is very, very nice. Another um, scenario that I'm seeing here too <clears throat> is that um, something from your past, possibly with a, a in an energy from your past that tried to burn you cancer, it's over. It's somebody who, like I said, they did everything they were plotting and planning, trying to use anybody they could use to be a nightmare in your life. See, all of this stuff is connected. Like, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going some kind of forward movement, right? So everybody that you, where's the, um, so you can't really see it on this card. Seven and two is nine of wands, right? So usually you see the nine of wands and a person is coming through, you know, a long and arduous journey, right? I feel like there's a lot of energies that's connected to that. Um, and, and I don't want to, I don't really want to extend this reading. It's just, it's so much drama connected to being connected to other people who don't believe in themselves, who don't believe they have purpose. It's the, it, it's really goes along with that, that term that the, um, the saying like the uh, idle time is the devil's workshop. I feel like those types of energies, they do so much talking and plotting and planning, getting everybody all fired up because, uh, because they don't believe in themselves. They're so judgmental because people have judged them so long. I feel like some energies were definitely trying to set a trap for you in the past cancer, but it didn't work because 
somewhere in your spirit, where's the card? Somewhere in your spirit, Cancer, you picked up on, you definitely picked up on some energies that would have been a nightmare. Something they said, something, tr this is why I talk about like take, this is, this is where really cancer, you all have a major, major advantage of being homebodies, right? And I'm talking to you wherever cancer is in your birth chart, especially your inner, your inner planets. This is where, this is where this worked for you all cancer. You all being homebodies and being at home, listening to water sounds and like doing, just like tending to your stuff that just, you know, put a smile on your face. Maybe you swim, maybe you drink a lot of water, maybe you go walking by yourself, spending time in a house, doing little things in the house or whatever. Something worked to your advantage because um, at a higher frequency, right? A lot of people are not willing to go to the higher frequency of really thinking, okay, I need to, I need to separate myself from everybody because I really want to start thinking about legacy. So I can't hang out with some of the people I used to. I can't, I can't be on the phone talking to certain people I used to talk to. Um, and I'm, I'm really thinking about legacy and in that time by yourself sources, like I'm going to download some information into your spirit. Some of it may be a little confusing because some of the energies that may have recently come into your life, um, cancer may not have burned you yet, but it's really who they're connected to. If that makes any sense, right. Um, that could have thrown you off, right. Age doesn't equate to wisdom. So, um, you can't necessarily look at it as like, oh, I was naive and I should have known this at my age. And so don't even, don't even torture yourself that way because the enemy is very, very crafty. And so source wants you to get yourself away from all that and really start thinking like real now that you're talking about legacy. Well, source is like, okay, yeah, I'm going to answer your prayer, but you're going to have to purge some energies. There's some energies you're going to have to part ways with. So it's not always about a person burning you yet. You don't want them to get to a point of burning you cancer. You want to be able to see it before it happens. Do they have it in them to burn you? Some people don't have it in them. Some people will say, before I hurt you, for real, and they mean it with every fiber of their being, before I hurt you, I remove myself from your life. I'll let you think whatever you want to think, but I don't want to do something that's going to really, really make you hate me. So I will remove myself when you, when you at a point of confusion. I'll remove myself from your life. Source is saying to you, but some people are connected to energies. They don't even realize they're being used cancer. You're going to have to see through them and who they're connected to. Here we have love, affirmations for love. I am connected to all love and all light. I welcome all forms of authentic love into my life. I deserve to love and be loved. I love myself as I am. All is love and I am loved. I approve of myself. I am enough. My heart is full of love. I share love with those around me. Who eat, whoever that you eat, let me, whoever that you work with in business and or in love, and it can even be in your family. Whoever um, throws a big tantrum when they don't get their way, whoever's vindictive, whether it was in your family, whether somebody was bully, because this could also speak to somebody's Chiron too, like your wounded warrior could have been starting in your family. Whoever has that sort of tyrannical energy, that kind of energy that's like, when they don't get their way, they tear up some stuff. Like they're going to kick over tables and chairs. They setting stuff on fire and not, not technically on fire, but you know what I'm saying? Like they are going off those types of energies that have no control, you know, over their mo because they, they, but they will tell you that, Oh, I got a good heart and I just give and give and give and give and give, but they always seem to take it out on the wrong people. Source is saying to you, <clears throat> You're going to have to be able to see through the people that other people are connected to. Here we have limitless. So see yourself open to receive in the most miraculous ways, cancer. The divine can use anything and anyone. Yep. When I say can use anything and anyone, source is trying to train somebody to see through stuff, like see through space and time. That's what source is trying. You're talking about generational, you're talking about breaking generational chains, curses, and you're going to have to go back through and see things through space and time, like come up out of the flesh and see things through space and time, cancer.
This is this is not for the faint. I mean, for real. <laughs> like some people are talking about, I want to break generational cycles, chains, and curses. Where they in the flesh looking at this one, comparing themselves to that one. So it's just like, uh, uh. You have a specific assignment to break this generational cycle, chain, and curse. And I need you to stay. I need you to stay focused. Yeah. So. There it is, 33, I am expanding. So it's going to be two types of energies in particular that you're leaving behind. You know, energies that didn't believe in you, they jumped to conclusions. They, 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 they aligned themselves with talking about you, trying to burn your reputation, mess you up. And those energies is too weak to even see what they were doing. Weak, whatever, it doesn't even really matter. They didn't believe in themselves. They didn't believe in you. They didn't believe that you were highly gifted. They don't believe anything. And today the type of, they, they like show me. And so source is showing them. So is your ancestor showing them. Here we have any positive changes or projects that you are considering right now, cancer, will be worth your while. Expect that the power to manifest and create will be heightened. Yep. Because that's what's happening. Uh, let's see. Let's get a. Well, we got the number. Let's get one last card, Cancer. And we're going to go ahead and close this out. This is nice. This is really, really nice because when I tell you just your power and your intellect and somebody needs to just get out of their head, they want to call you, but they haven't changed. Mm -mm -mm. They want to call you, but they haven't changed because they still, they still tied to or tethered to energies that they, they've got to sit there indecisive. I don't know who to believe. Guess what? Let's do you a favor and do us both a favor. Believe them. <laughs> you don't know who to believe? Please believe them because I don't I don't have time to even clear up any rumors. Please believe what they said. Let's just go with their version of it. Because if they got you that confusion untangled, I need you to I need I want clarity for you. So please believe them. So yeah, that's what you that's what somebody wants to call you, but they haven't changed. They want, they, they all, they sitting on a fence somewhere. You're not about fence riding. You are about forward movement. You're going through a transition, a rite of passage, and somebody's going to feel like they hit the jackpot. You are not interested in clearing up any confusion that somebody set there and let somebody dump that mess in their universe. You're not interested. Twin flame and love and twin flame and business awaits moving forward. You're not interested in going backward to a bunch of confusion, right? And so here we have 33, the number three, we know that 33 is a master number, right? Cancer, but three is the number for, um, inspire you, ins you inspire people, right? You motivate people and trust and believe you motivated some people from your past. That's why they sitting there thinking about it. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure you inspired them, but see, you're not, you're not going, you don't have time to wait around. They didn't believe in you. They didn't believe because they don't believe in themselves. So they don't need to believe in you. You believe in you. And that's all that matters. So that's what I have for you, Cancers. I will see you all on Motivational Monday. Bye.